Okay, here is the equation. All right, if you hate this equation, you don't like it, how it's written, just keep in mind it can also be written like this. One over the distance the object plus one over the distance the image is equal to one over the focal length. Okay, straight up plug and chug. Nothing to be frightened of. Um, so if we had a problem, for example, let's pull one up here. Um, so let's say we had an object that was 30 centimeters away from a concave mirror. Okay. What in the let's say that the mirror had a focal length of like 10 centimeters. Okay. This would be the distance to the object. The focal length is 10. Because it's a concave mirror, the focal length is in front. So it's on the positive side of the mirror. If it was a um, convex mirror, so popping outward, the focal length would be behind, so it would be a negative focal length. Okay, so it's just straight plug and chug. So one over 30, actually let's convert. I mean, it'll actually work out in this one, but I, I always convert just to keep life clear, okay? One over di equals one over 0.1. Okay, if you don't want to do the whole common denominator thing, just be careful and put parentheses around this when you're putting it in your calculator. All right, that's the main thing that'll screw you up. And don't forget to flip your answer when you get it. So if you do that guy, you should come out with, and the answer comes out to 0 0.15 or 15 centimeters. Yay. Another, one of the un, only other equations that comes with this is, um, I always memorize it as, hold on, I'm trying to, so you could write it this way, SI over SO equals um, HI over HO, okay, and you want to put a negative in front of this one, however, I have memorized that. I don't like these S's. That's just what the AP test uses, so I use them. But I always memorize the equation this way. Um, H over O equals D over do negative. Okay, and I memorized it as, are you ready for this? Hi, ho, D, do, negative. Now you won't forget it. It's also on your equation sheet, so it's completely useless. But it's a fun song. Okay. Hold on, people are yelling at me. So, in other words, what do these stand for? This is the height of the image, and this is the height of the object. So, for example, in the last guy, we found the height of the distance, and we found the distance, we knew the distance from the object. So, if we just know the height of the object, we could solve for the height of the image now, right? Straightforward.